Okay, everyone, so uh, for today's social network, we're going to be talking about Instagram. Instagram is a network that's been out, I think, since around maybe 2011 or 12. You know, we can look it up, but it's been around a little while. And it's uh, very popular, very popular. It's got over 400 million users, which is actually more than Twitter. So Twitter's just celebrated 10 years this year, like last month. Uh, and Instagram has been around half the time, but it's already got more users. Now, when Instagram started, uh, it was iPhone only. So you needed to have an iPhone to use Instagram. And it was like that for maybe about a year or so. And Android people kept saying, when is the Instagram version coming for us? When? When? And then eventually it was released for Instagram, uh, for, for Android, and then Windows Phone, etc. So now any platform can use Instagram. I've got it here on one of my devices. This is my uh, Android device, but this will work on iPhone and Windows Phone. And uh, it, uh, it, it's become so valuable, literally, because after maybe a year and a half of existence, Facebook saw them and they said, this, this is going to take off, therefore we'll buy them. So Facebook paid, I believe, about $1 billion dollars literally one billion dollars to buy Instagram and uh, those of us that were using it and uh, I'm gonna get hipster on you but I was on Instagram from week one um, before all of you so um, I heard of Instagram before you um, when uh, when all of us that were using Instagram before the big acquisition we were saying there it is it's ruined Instagram is ruined because Facebook and you know as I've said before in this class I'm not a fan of Facebook for a variety of reasons a lot of people are not also and so they thought here's this big huge company that's gonna take over this little indie company and they're gonna make it like Facebook and that's why I left Facebook I don't like Facebook that's why I'm on Instagram or that's why I'm on Twitter or whatever because I don't like Facebook and surprisingly Facebook really left them alone they didn't come in and impose a bunch of things and change the the soul of Instagram it has been changing throughout the years and uh, as I've taught this class I've always you know marveled at how Instagram basically left them alone except until very recently now for the users perhaps it's not so good what changes Facebook has made but for us as businesses it's great what they've done and we'll see those things what Facebook has done for businesses what we first need to do is create an account. So as I said, I've got my Android phone here and I've already got Instagram installed. You probably don't if, you, if you've never thought about using it. So what you're going to need to do first of all, <clears throat> depending on your device, you're going to need to go to your App Store. So if you've got an iPhone, you're going to go to your App Store. If you've got an Android phone, you're going to go to the Play Store. Um, however way you need to do it, we'll, we'll take a couple of minutes, you need to go to your app store. I'm on my app store and I'm going to search Instagram. Obviously I've already got it installed, but on your app store somehow you're going to search for Instagram, click to install it, let it download and install, and then after that will go on. So all you need to do is install it. But let me get a show of hands. How many of you already have Instagram on your device? Raise your hand. Okay, very good. So I'll give you like maybe one minute. You need to find Instagram. I'm just going to take a look here. So it says it's got over 500 million installations on Android. So uh, Yes, the password. Let me tell you that right here, the Wi-Fi password. There's going to be a network called NCC Wireless. And the password is CE Spring 2016, lowercase. So if you guys need to use our network in here, that's what it is. And so I'm just looking at the stats over here. Instagram rated T for teen. Some of them are lower or higher ratings, just like movies, just like TV shows, there's ratings. I believe you have to be at least 13 years old to use Instagram. So if your little kids are using Instagram, you know, I'm not going to turn you in, but they shouldn't be. 13 and up. Uh, 500 million downloads, 31 and a half million ratings, 4.5 star rating, it's a social network, it will look at similar 
Instagram. Like, capture, and share the world's moments. Well, that's a very prosaic way of saying sharing pictures. Instagram started off as a network to share pictures, and there had been ways to share pictures online before. There's been Facebook itself, there's been uh, Twitter, there's been Flickr, there's been ways to share pictures. Instagram really took off because it was different, it was retro and modern at the same time. The character of Instagram photos, traditional Instagram photos, are that they are square photos. You share square photos traditionally on Instagram, like the classic Polaroids. Therefore, it forces a lot of us to get a little more creative because most of the time when we're shooting photos on a regular camera or on our smartphone, they are rectangular photos. They're either tall or they are wide. Instagram, traditionally, you're using square photos. So something's going to get cropped out, the top or the bottom or the left and the right. You're going to have square photos to work with. So it's a different way of looking at pictures, looking at the world. That's one of the things that made, one of the little things that made uh, Instagram popular. What also made Instagram popular were the use of filters. Uh, applying filters that gave them a vintage look, a damaged look, an interesting look. Because these, these little things in our pockets, these phones, can take really good photos nowadays, especially with a newer device. And the allure of, of Instagram was, well, digital photography is way too, uh, is way too perfect. Like, I take these photos and they come out perfect, and I miss the old Polaroids that would have light leaks, or I would miss the old film that would get damaged, or when they processed it, it got stained. So the people behind Instagram said, let's make a photo sharing app with square photos, like the old Polaroids, and that you could apply filters that made them look damaged or retro or weird. And that's why it was a very hipster network in the beginning, iPhone only, for your weird hipster photos. But then eventually when it expanded to more people, uh, brands got into it, you know, companies, Coca-Cola, Nike, um, this college, everyone got into it because it's another way to reach an audience, 400 million people at the moment. Eventually, they also let us create video. They let us upload short 15-second long videos. You might say, 15 seconds? What can I do in 15 seconds? There's lots and lots of creative people that have created a lot of great creative photos and video in Instagram, 15 minutes at a pop. One account on Instagram that I like is this account that they, they put, they, they've made a big movie and they're releasing it on Instagram 15 seconds at a time, 15 seconds a day. So that gets you coming back to watch the next installment. And guess what? On their homepage it says, don't forget to buy the merch, the merchandise. So that company is using Instagram video to share little snippets of video at a time to keep you coming back. Recently, uh, the official Instagram account was sharing a short film that they made about David Bowie. You know, David Bowie passed on recently, and one of the last projects that he did was to create a short film with the Instagram company, and they are publishing it 15 seconds at a time every week. So think about that creatively. Yes, we've done photo sharing before, but what about video sharing? What about video sharing? What about video sharing in short bursts, 15 seconds at a time? Now, very recently, I think like one or two days ago, they've actually updated that to be 60 seconds. So now you're going to be able to share 60 second video. Question? Do we need to buy this or something? No, no, Instagram should be free. What it might be asking you to do is to log into your account. So you log into your account, but you don't need to pay for anything. And um, you can get Instagram for free. So I'm going to assume at this point we've got Instagram installed. If you don't quite have it there, I need to go on, but uh, you can catch up. And I've got Instagram installed right here, so I'm going to click it or tap it. Tap Instagram, and if this is your very first time using Instagram, it'll say, okay, create an account. Create an account. So what it'll ask you to do is either It'll ask you to either create an account, as I'll show you how in a moment, or log in with Facebook. 
because Instagram is owned by Facebook, they have the ability for you to uh, set up Instagram faster if you've got Facebook. It's up to you if you want to do it that way. So the first thing it tells me is log in with my username and password or Facebook or create an account. Yes? Yes. Yes, the difference here is every account uh, has it needs its own login. So I've got my personal one where I share my you know cat pictures or whatever, and I've got the one that I run for my businesses. So I do need a different account. You can switch between them in the app. I've got three accounts, and I can click switch between accounts, and it'll let me switch. But I do need a different account login for every company. So if you've already got an account, that's what you need to decide again, like on the other days. Do you want to use your existing one and then learn and then apply what I'm going to teach you? Or do you want to create a brand new account and then you can delete it later? So I'm going to go through the process of creating a brand new account so that we can see what that looks like. And again, you can uh, use an existing or create one yourself. So I'm going to tap at the bottom, sign up. If you've already got an account and want to create another account, uh, you need to go to your settings somewhere. Obviously, I can't show you that. You need to go to your settings and you need to log out. But um, I'm going to click to um, log in with, uh, I'm going to click sign up. And if I'm going to sign up, again, it's going to ask me sign in or create an account with Facebook or with a with a phone number or email I'm gonna go with sign up for an email it might not be obvious but that's a button right there so I'm gonna choose to do this via email put an email address here now put some email again if this is a testing account just to learn this I'm gonna make up a gibberish email it should work uh, It'll ask you to confirm it, but I believe we'll be okay if you don't confirm. So I'm going to click. All right, just one moment. So it's going to ask me for a photo. It's going to ask me to put in some sort of branding. Again, all of this, uh, all of these accounts should have some form of branding, like your photo or your company logo or whatever. I don't have one handy, so I'll add one later. It's asking for full name and username, very much like Twitter, where Twitter asks you for a full name and username. Full name, I can put in any name there because it's not unique, and then username is the unique one. So let's say I'm making an account, Victor's Bakery. It's giving me a suggestion. I'll go ahead and take that, putting in a password. I'll click next. It might ask me to connect with my uh, with my friends and family on Facebook. I will skip that. You might also ask me, would you like us to check your address book on your phone to see if anyone that you know is on Instagram? I'm going to skip that. There's a little skip button right at the bottom there. You could if you want, but I'm going to just skip it and be a plain old account. If you create this for the first time, a lot of the networks nowadays have this sign-up process I think they call it the onboarding process. You know, people make up uh, verbs all the time. 
So the onboarding process is you've created a brand new account, but if you don't have any connections, it's going to look boring. It's going to look like a ghost town. You're going to sign in and you won't see anything, then you're going to give up. So what I'm saying is it's saying here, follow people, follow accounts so that it's not empty, so that it's not boring. You can choose to follow any of these as you want. Uh, I'm just gonna see if I can skip it. I'm not gonna select any of these and I'll click the check mark at the top. The reason I'm skipping this is because it's just gonna recommend a bunch of famous accounts, which I may not care about. But if there are any accounts here that you think are valuable to you, go ahead and follow them. And again, the point of follow of your business following any other accounts is for inspiration, to see what they're doing. But I'm gonna just try to skip that. And it takes me, welcome to Instagram. So I'm going to pause at this point to make sure everyone's on track. Either log into your account or create a new account. Does anyone need any help? Just one moment. Yes. So once that gets downloaded, then it will ask you to log in when you 
Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours is going to be the one that is the same place. Yours
So this may or may not be valuable to you, but here perhaps some value to it would be what is, what is everyone sharing? What are people posting? Uh, could be inspiration, could not. Search is also valuable, we'll see later, because uh, this screen is valuable because it's got search. So we'll be able to search hashtags and keywords and such, just like every other network. There's uh, some sort of like uh, circular square button in the middle. We'll look at that one a little later. And then on mine, I've got this uh, heart. This, these are your, this is your activity. Uh, these are your notifications. Just like every network has some way to notify you something has happened, Instagram has a notifications tab, a notifications window. This will tell me, this photo's been liked, I got a reply, you've been tagged in a photo, etc. And then I've got my own little uh, profile photo. So the, uh, the little person is my profile about everything that I've shared and a list of my photos and my followers and all of that stuff. I've just created a brand new account, so it's all empty. Zero posts, zero followers, zero following. Yes? Um, where are you? Yeah, I can't get on. I don't, I don't have any of that. Okay, once again, I'm on, I'm on an Android phone, so it might be slightly no, different. I'm on Alright, so um, on mine, on the top right corner, I've got these three dots. On yours, if you've got an iPhone, you'll probably see a little gear. So that's where a bunch of settings are at, if I tap that. So I went over to my... I went over to my account tab, the one with the little person, and then I, on the top right corner, I clicked on my options, which in my case is three dots. On yours, it might be a gear. So if I tap that, it's going to, say, it's going to tell me follow people, connect with people, uh, invite people. You have to decide if you think this is valuable to you, if it's valuable for you to connect with your friends and family on Facebook or your contact list and such from your address book. Usually, I tell people that's not so useful because are you going to build your business on the backs of your friends and family? Are you going to share to them again another ad, another um, you know, sale, another coupon? Your friends and family, maybe the first or second time, might say, great, great photo, yeah, I'll buy that. But you're not going to really build it on your friends. So that has some value, but not really. We need to get more followers and connections from real customers, not just your friends and family use Instagram on a different account for friends and family, but use Instagram in this account for business. And you can create multiple ones, multiple accounts. We'll see about that later. We can edit the profile. If we take a quick look there, edit profile. Uh, name, website, bio, private information, etc. Uh, so that's where I put the name of my company, which I can change. There's my username, which I can change. Just tap on it. I didn't add a website. You should. You should have your company website there. There's going to be an active link here because, again, all of these networks have a limitation at the moment where you're going to be able to have a coupon or a photo of a product, but not really be able to buy it directly from the app. You still have to get people back to your website where you've got your shopping cart. So just like we did on Twitter and Pinterest and all of those, you should have a website link there. There's a spot for a biography, and then again, you should, you should fill that in. You have some limit. I don't, uh, it'll tell you if you go over the limit, but you should have 
some sort of biography there that explains what your account is about, especially if the name of your business is is not obvious what it does. Obviously, Victor's Bakery can tell you what the business is. But if I had something a little more esoteric, like PMB Interactive, then the buyer really better say something like San Diego-based company specializing in websites for all restaurants. Right? I should use the biography to really specify what the business is. You can change your email, you can add a phone number, that's for extra security in case you get locked out or you get hacked. You can use that phone number to retrieve your account. You can put gender, although obviously for a business, you don't really need to specify it. If you change any of that, there should be some sort of check mark or some sort of OK button. I'm going to cancel it. Change my password, post you've liked, private account. Um, just like Twitter and everything, you can like a post. And here we'll give you a list of all your likes. You could use likes, as we'll see later, like bookmarks. Let's say you see something on the home screen or the search screen, and you like it because you want to do something similar on your own. You can like, as we'll see how later, you can like photos, and they'll all be stored here. So they're kind of like bookmarks. You can come back and see, OK, I remember that idea now. It was a black and white photo off-center. And I can do that, and I bookmarked it to come back to it. Private. When your account is private, only people you approve can see your photos and videos. Your existing followers won't be affected. This usually matters to personal accounts. So me, Victor, I create an account, but I only want certain people to see what I post. I would activate privacy. When someone then wants to see my stuff, they, they, they ask to connect, and then I'll say yes or no. And if I say yes, they'll be able to see my stuff, and vice versa. For a business, that doesn't make too much sense. I want as most people as possible to find my photos and videos, to see my products, to follow me, to get followers, to get customers. Conceivably, I suppose you could create private accounts, private accounts to have exclusive content that you only let certain people see those coupons or those... those uh, products, but usually for a business it's going to be public, which is don't turn on private. Linked accounts, that is pretty cool here because if you go to linked accounts and and this goes back to answer the, the question again, how do you have time to do all of this? Well, many of these networks are going let to you, let you link together. I did mention Buffer.com before, which is a website you can go to to link your accounts together. You share something on Buffer, and Buffer will automatically share it to all of your networks. Well, not all of them. Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, and, I, and Pinterest. Buffer doesn't let you link, doesn't share over to Instagram yet. But at least here on the plus side, what I can do here on Instagram, go to linked accounts, and I can connect to Twitter and my Tumblr or Flickr or whatever, or Amoeba, which I've never heard of. And when you share something to Instagram, it'll then automatically go over to Twitter and Facebook and Flickr and vContact and so forth. So that's one way to save yourself time and effort. You link those accounts, share to Instagram, and it'll go to the other ones. Yes? Can you also share your Twitter accounts with your Instagram? But the account, the followers that you have with no. Twitter? No, it's separate. So Twitter's going to keep track of followers and such, but there's no way to transfer them over directly to Instagram or vice versa. This is share some share a picture on Instagram and it goes to Twitter. So I'll do that later. It needs, it needs for you to sign in and such, so I'm going to go back. Language, you can change the language of, of uh, Instagram if you want it in another language. Let's take a quick look at push notifications. Um, so let's say I share something on Instagram, someone likes it, I want to know about it because it might be valuable. A new customer, for example. Under push notifications here, you can say, don't give me the alert. Uh, I'm so popular, it's such a burden, I don't want it to keep buzzing and buzzing and buzzing. 
So I can turn it off. I've got the default, probably most of us have the default from everyone. When anyone likes one of my photos, have my phone buzz. Have it notify me. I probably want that as a beginner because I want to be alerted to everything that happens. As I get more famous and I get more followers and I get more activity, perhaps then I will change it over to people, to uh, from people I follow. If I follow an account and they follow me, then I'll see the notifications. That is, then I'll get the alert. I'll always see the notifications in the notification screen, but if I want my phone to, to buzz to tell me, that's this screen here. The point of that is, that's how people like Justin Bieber, with like, I don't know, 30 million followers, can, can keep his sanity. Because he's got people, as soon as he shares something, he gets 10,000 likes, like in one minute, literally. It's, so instead of it buzzing, 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 he has it activated from people I follow. So when Kim Kardashian likes his uh, photo, that's when he'll get alerted, but not when Joe Schmo does it. So you have to decide what's good for you, but probably from everyone is the good one as a beginner. Same thing for comments. I want people, I want to know when people comment on my photos, as we'll see why later, but that's interactivity, and I want to know that. Get a notification when I get a new follower, yes or no? Yes, I want to know, I got a new follower, a, a potential new customer. Let me know when I try to follow an account. So right here under accepted follow. Let me know when I'm trying to follow an account and they approve me. Yes or no. Friends on Instagram. Let me know when one of my connections, like on Facebook, let me know when they've uh, joined Instagram. That might be useful. Oh, Janet is finally on Instagram. Let me follow her. We can do direct requests, um, so that's basically private messaging. Whenever we share anything on most of these networks, it's totally public, but now they're adding a lot of features for you know, direct messaging, for private messaging. So think about it like this on Instagram. I'm selling some sort of product, you know, some, I'm selling baby carriages. And someone bought a baby carriage, but they're having trouble. What if they come to Instagram and they send me a direct message for tech support? That could be a way, you know, the modern way to do tech support. Instead of via email, via phone call, we chat back and forth on Instagram or Twitter or whatever. So here it's saying, would you like for people to want to send you private messages and such? Yes or no? We have photos of you. People can tag you in a photo. For businesses, I think that's good. For personal accounts, you have to decide if you like that or not. But this is, let's say, someone visits my restaurant. They take a photo of the food. They share it on Instagram and then they tag my, my restaurant in their photo. That's good, I want that, because when their friends saw that great photo and they say, where can I eat that? It'll be tagged, my business, and therefore it'll make it easier for friends of friends to visit my restaurant. So if I don't want people to tag me in their photos, I can do that, or in the middle, which is people that I follow. Reminders. Uh, this will give you, this will remind you, you have unseen notifications and other similar notifications. This is valuable for beginners because you, you know, you, you, you just learned it today, Instagram perhaps, and if you don't use it on a regular basis, you forget how it works. So this will let you know once in a while you have un, unread notifications. Don't forget to log in, don't forget to use it. First photo, huh, that one's new to me. Let's see, see John Appleseed's first Instagram photo. Uh, I guess once in a while it'll say, look at Johnny's first photo. I guess it has some value. And product announcements. This is gonna tell you, uh, the Instagram company, uh, child company, not only has Instagram, but it has other apps. One called Boomerang, one called Hyperlapse, I believe. So would you like 
Instagram to tell you once in a while about the other apps that it has. So yes or no. Any general questions on this screen? All right, I'm going to back up to a previous screen here. Cellular data usage, you can go look at that on your own. Basically, do you want to allow Instagram to use your to use your 3G, you know, you do want Instagram to use your AT&T connection or whatever. Uh, so if you've got like a limited data plan, uh, you can say no, don't use that data, only when I'm on Wi-Fi. Upload quality, that'll be fine, but you can go in and change that to if you want to save data, save original photos, yes or no, save videos after posting, yes or no. They're both set to yes. When I take a photo to share on Instagram, also share, I also save the original version. And when I share a video to Instagram, also save it to my phone. If you turn those off, your photos are only saved on Instagram, not on your device as well. You have to take the extra steps to download them again. It says saving these takes more storage. So you probably want those on to save a copy of them directly on your phone. There's Help Center, there's Report a Problem, and then About Information, and then at the very bottom, as you do search, it's going to track that. If you want to clear your searches, there it is. Every time you use Instagram, you share something, you write something, you like something, you search, Instagram is learning a little bit more about you. And on the one hand, that might sound terrible. It's spying on me as a person. But as a business, that's actually useful because as a business, that will help me find more people to connect with. It sees that I'm often sharing photos about technology. So it'll suggest to me, why not follow these technology accounts? Or why not share technology content like this? So if you don't want it to keep track of your searches, you can go back in here and clear. For a long time, those of us that were in the industry were begging Instagram to give us the ability to manage more than one account what you would have to do is log out of one account and log back into another account. Now you do have the ability to add an account. So this one that we created, again we can delete it or uh, continue to use it, but we can switch between accounts here. I don't have that. If you don't have it, it might be that the email isn't verified, but if it's a fake email, uh, it won't let you verify it, so you will be able to see this eventually. And it might also be that perhaps if you've had Instagram already installed on your phone a little while, you might have to update it to the latest version. Okay. And then I've got logout right there. So these are the options. Any general questions on options? I'm going to back, go back to the home screen here. Okay, so the thing about Instagram is that it's photo or video. That's what you share. Um, that's the content that you create. So that's what we're going to do a, a quick share, then we'll take a break. Uh, I have an account. I've got it set up. I'm ready to go. Uh, I need to start to share something. So that's what that central button is. The one right in the middle there. That's supposed to be the, the share button, uh, the camera shutter button. So let's give this a try. We'll be able to delete this, of course. If you're doing this on a real account, we'll be able to delete it. If you're doing it on a fake account, we can delete it. But I'm going to go back to this uh, home screen here, and I'm going to click the shutter button in the middle, the share button, tap that. And then what will happen is, It'll pull up the camera, uh, and then at the bottom it'll say, and again depending on your device, it'll say gallery, photo, video. So if I've got photos that I've already taken, I can click on gallery uh, and then select the photo. Um, or I'm in the central photo, or I'm in select video. So I'm going to do a regular photo first. 
and notice it's square. By default, it's a little hard to see there, I guess, but it's, it's square. You see it's going to be a square photo. And um, there's going to be a button to, to rotate it so that I can do the, the, the selfie camera. You see right here that I can also rotate it. And then I can do a selfie like that. I've got flash, a flash button. I can take a, I can add flash to the photo. Um, but anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick photo here. I'm going to press that central button. So it took the photo. Okay, so it took the photo. Uh, this is a pretty dark projector, but you've got uh, different icons and different filters. Again, this is the thing about Instagram, that it's got these different filters. I can scroll over to see more filters. So, like, I've got, you might have the same filters or different, but I've got one called Reyes. So if I select it, notice how the colors change. Juno, you go with Moon. So all of these have different effects. And the very first one is normal. So, okay, it's a normal photo. It's taken nicely. It's a classic normal photo. But the allure of Instagram is you've got all of these filters that you can add. Some of them obviously look nicer or are more flattering than others. Um, but this is part of the fun of Instagram, choosing a great filter for your photo. You can tap a filter, let's say X Pro, and then tap it again to say, well, how strong is the filter? So I chose X Pro, and I tapped X Pro again, and then it lets me change the intensity of that filter. So I can add filters. That's what this first icon here is. It's supposed to represent <clears throat> the classic um, filter that you add to a, a camera, that screw-on filter that you add to a classic camera. So that's my filters screen. The center screen, the center icon, is the, is, is I forget the exact name of it at the moment, but I think it's like the enhanced filter, or it's got a special name, but what it's supposed to do is it gives you a slider and then as you scroll it up and down, it's supposed to do like an auto enhancement of the photo. I cancel that. That's the center one. I think it's called auto fix or auto adjust or something. That little sun brightens it, darkens it. It kind of makes the color stronger or weaker. So that's one possible way to filter the eye, to filter the photo also. And you've got that wrench. On that wrench, you have other things that you can do here much more fine-tuned edits. Make some adjustments, change the brightness, contrast, etc. We're not going to go through every screen. The thing about it is that's what um, that's what Instagram is about for you to discover things. So I did an adjustment. Let's see about warmth, make it warmer. So it's like you can create your own filter. You can create your own filter manually. What people love is the tilt shift. This one is if you go to the gear and you scroll your tools to the right, you'll see tilt shift. And what that one does is you've got radial or linear. That's the effect that if you select radial, you can make a part a portion of the photo sharp and the rest blurry. The radial will focus. Again, the projector's not that nice to look at, but it's going to focus on one part and blur the rest. Linear is similar to that as well in that you can create a focus. So you see one of my eyes is in focus and the other one is not. So it'll be focused there and the rest not. So 
So I have a lot that I can do here. We'll have more chance to, to use these things, but I'm going to click Next. So on the top right corner, I've got the Next arrow. And then here I've got Publish this and let all my followers see it, which at the moment is zero. Or send this directly to other users on Instagram, so private, private sharing. I have a spot to write a caption, and I should. If I tap caption, I can write here, I think, uh, as much as I want, basically. So I can write a whole paragraph if I like. Uh, but under caption, let's say I can write something like, my first selfie. And I can use this spot also to add hashtags. So like on Twitter, I can go to the hashtag. I can add the, the hash mark and write um, something like, uh, I don't know, fun. And as I'm adding a hashtag, it's going to pop up to tell me, this hashtag is used 229 million times. This one is used 91 million times. The point of that is that I can, I can look at hashtags to see what, um, how I can perhaps get found more. Hashtags that have more users will mean possibility that I that my photo gets found because people search hashtags. You know, people are are interested in a topic, and if I put a topic as a hashtag, a hashtag is a keyword. Uh, people can find it. So I'm going to say, yeah, I'm going to select fun. That could reach a lot of people, perhaps. Let me add another one. Uh, let me add cool. So right here, 101 million cool kids. One million, sure. I'll select that. So here, potentially, more and more people can see it because I've added hashtag. And I can add as many as I want. Actually, I believe up to 30. But you know, 30 hashtags, it's, it's, you start to look like a spammer if you have so many hashtags trying to reach so many topics. Sorry, it's to yeah, no problem. Have a seat anywhere you'd like. And so I kind of recommend between 5 and 10 hashtags. You can go up to 30, but then you look like a spammer. And um, people always ask, is there like a list where I can go to see all the hashtags? Yes and no. You're going to have a bunch of websites out there and even apps that'll tell you these are the hot hashtags at the moment. But maybe your hashtag is not hot at the moment. Maybe there is no hashtag for what you're trying to do. So don't really bother with trying to find hashtag lists and top hashtags and all of that because it changes. Just think about a keyword. And notice hashtags have no spaces, so cool kids is one word. If I put hashtag cool space kids, the hashtag is only cool, not kids. It has to be a full one word. The thing about this is you put keywords into your photos, you know, five to ten keywords about your photo that you believe people are searching for, that you believe people are interested in a topic. These are your topics. These are your keywords of your photos. You can add a location or not. Um, the purpose of that is again if you've got a business on a map and I believe this is connected over to Foursquare so if your business is on Foursquare uh, and you attach a location, people will see this photo was taken at San Diego Continuing Education. Anyone who visits your photo map will be able to see your photo locations and you can remove them at any time. So this is saying, I'm taking a bunch of photos, I'm putting a location onto them, people will see this photo was taken at that location. And so they can get a map, they can get directions. This would be useful, let's say, again, I've got this I've got this business on Main Street. I'm uploading photos. I attach my location on Main Street. People will see it on a map. People could then get directions to the business. I can tag people. Tap photo to tag people. So let's say there was a bunch of people on screen. I could then tag them. If I start to type in their, their name on Instagram, I could attach them 
Again, this is like the example that I gave previously. Someone visits my restaurant, they, take, they order something, they take a photo of the food, and they tag my business. That's useful for other people to give me some free advertising. I have two followers, but one of those followers has 200 followers. And if they tag me in their photo, I suddenly could reach 202 people. There's plus mine. And so if I choose to connect Facebook and Twitter and so forth, as soon as I share this, this will also get sent to those networks. Depending on the network, it'll look different ways. Uh, unfortunately, on Twitter, it's pretty anticlimactic. Uh, you if you auto-share to Twitter, it'll have the text that you wrote here and a link back to the photo. It won't show the actual photo. It used to. Before Facebook bought Instagram, you could share on Instagram and your photo will automatically show on Twitter. Now you'll see the text and the link to Instagram. An extra step. But guess what? It, it works perfectly fine on Facebook. If you share to Facebook, the picture and the text will show up on Facebook. Uh, I don't know how it looks like exactly on Tumblr. I haven't used it recently. Uh, on Swarm, it'll go share it on Swarm with the picture. And then on Flickr, it'll also share the picture. So let's say I filled this in. I'll click the check mark at the top right to accept it, process it. And now on my home screen, all my zero followers are going to see my amazing selfie. But better yet, everyone that is searching on the search tab, if they search the hashtag cool kids, there's my photo. Try that right now. Go to the search, go to your little search icon, and search the hashtag, hashtag cool kids. You should see my photo there. I have no followers, but all of you could see this photo because I've used a hashtag. I've used something that reaches out through the whole Instagram network. So you'll see top posts, and if you scroll down, most recent, there's mine. So if we got this far, very good. If you didn't, we're about to take a break in a moment, but any general questions so far? All right, let's take our first break. It's 10.22. We'll be back at 10.32. Uh, if you need help setting this up, uh, call me over, and when we come back, we'll look at more uh, how to use Instagram.